Hello and welcome to my closures copy video where I'm going to be looking at the long form editor which allows you to create those longer blog posts and overall it's going to be a quick tutorial to show you how it works. Now here's the cool thing. This is the only text that I've actually written myself for this and we're going to be able to create pretty good amount of content with just that. So here's how it works. Anytime you're using the long form editor, the first thing you're going to need is a brief. Now we can write this ourselves or just make closures copy do it, which is always a good idea. So this is what the um, article is going to be about. So I want to highlight that and click on the brief. And let's just give it a, a little few seconds here. Uh, normally closures copy takes around five to 10 seconds. The more it has to generate in terms of content, the longer it's going to be. But given the fact that it's done now, I will skip through the rest so you don't have to wait through them. But let's move on now. In this article, we talk about some of the reasons why people watch movies and what benefits they can gain from doing so. In this post, we share some inter interesting facts about watching movies. We'll show you how to get the most out of your movie watching experience and how to make it a fun hobby. Uh, the shorter one, watching it is a great hobby for anyone. We'll show you how to find what movies to watch and what type of movies are good for you. All these are pretty good. What I can do is click on this for copy. And I can put this right here. So, so now that we have this as our brief, Closures Copy has a good idea of what we're going to be talking about. It's kind of like the uh, structure for the entire article that we're going to create. So now that we have that, let's go for the headline. So given the fact we're going to be talking about this, once again, let's highlight this and click on the headline button to generate some headlines for us. Headline, why watching movies is one of the best hobbies. Then we have a post headline, watch movies, meet people, learn stuff, have fun and get paid. A little irrelevant when it comes to getting paid. Not sure why that's there. You can make money watching movies. Uh, movies are good for kids and adults too. Discover the secrets of why movies are good for your mind, body, and soul. Uh, I actually like a few of these. So I like this one. I'm going to just copy that, paste it there, that one obviously. And I actually like the headline. So what I can do is just Anytime you have your mouse right here, you can just click on the add button and it'll add it in. I actually like uh, the headline I already had, ironically enough, which was already there. And a post headline too, in case we want to use that. So we can do this for H2. So we know. Let's get rid of this. And just like that, we have our headline and now we have our subheadline if we want to use it. So anytime you're going to create an article, whether it's going to be using AI content generating software or you're doing it yourself, I recommend some type of outline. So let's do that next. Let's highlight our title and click on outline. Okay, so what are the benefits? How can you watch them? What types of movies? What are the best movies? What types of movies uh, for the whole family, for a date, for a romantic evening? That's pretty good. There's a lot of different diversity in terms of types of movies or best movies for specific times and actions. What are good for you? Uh, creating your own podcast and website. So this went off the rails a little bit. Like this went into becoming a filmmaker, musician. Uh, this is an example when it's like, okay, I think you gave me a little bit too much. That's fine. See, the cool thing about this is that even if it does that, like this comes with a lifetime access, which I have, which I do recommend. So anytime like something comes up like that, it's not a big deal because you can just avoid it or create more or use a different one. So uh, it kind of balances out in terms of the pros and cons. Yes, that can happen sometimes, but it's like it's cool because you can just generate as much as you want. Uh, identify your movie preferences, watch the movies you love, uh, watching movies for free on different spots, definitely like every spot possible. Um, watch movies to get away from the world, repetitive, just a few times, uh, how to find free movies, watch movies with your children, so on and so forth, watch them with like anyone. I actually like the one on top. And sometimes they will give you a ton of them, even though these were like irrelevant, there's going to be times where they aren't and they give you a lot. And that's always a good thing because what you can do is you can go in, you can click on the plus, and then you can choose the ones that you want to use. Give me a sec. I'm just going to remove the numbers here and I'll uh, take that out of the uh, video. Okay, so we can actually start with an introduction if we like. So why watching movies is one of the best hobbies. Let's do that because we want to do an introduction based upon that and click on the introduction button. Okay, watching movies is one of the best uh, hobbies you can have, uh, you can enjoy. I'm kind of just skimming through. You're looking for a new hobby, something that doesn't involve spending a lot of money. This would be a good one right here. Then there are many websites that offer free movies you can stream. If you're a movie buff, it's one of the best hobbies you can have. All these are look pretty related, which is great. Uh, I like this one. So let's just say that's going to be right here. Let's click on the add button right there. Okay. What are the benefits of watching movies? So here's the cool part. We can do anytime you have like the benefits or the drawbacks, there's actually specific ones for this. So you can do like the pros and cons for a lot of things, which I really like. Then we can also do, I'm going to copy this. 
Because we want to talk about like both sides of it. So it's not just like, this is the best thing ever. It's also going to give us better content where we can say like, yeah, the benefits definitely outweigh the drawbacks. So let's highlight this and click on the benefits and see what we get. So the benefits of watching movies include socializing. Uh, when they're in the mood to watch, they usually want to be entertained. That one's pretty good. Watching movies is a great way to relax and unwind. Uh, actually, these are both good. Uh, so I like that. Let's do this. I'm going to add the plus right here. Let's just add it right to it. And of course, we can do this one too. Like watching movies is also, okay, so I added an extra word there, okay? Uh, I'm going to make this an H2. So we have some content. Uh, also, what you could do is look through these and sort out, like if there's a different type of benefit, you could obviously add that right there. Like obviously we talked about, uh, this is good for downtime if you're in the mood. Once again, this is more about relaxing. Uh, what else do we have here? Anything that's kind of different from those? Uh, watching movies is a great way to relax. Okay, we did that. Actually, what I can do, this one's a little bit longer. I can remove this, add this one in here, get some more content. Can remove this since we covered a lot of the benefits. Great. Now we have the drawbacks. So let's scroll up. Let's highlight this and let's go with drawbacks. Okay, so we got a lot of it on this. Let's see drawbacks. That one's really long. You can't talk to your friends. Oh, this one, see, this This is a good example. It says, when you go to the movies, you can't talk to your friends. You can't go to the bathroom. You can't get a drink. You can't get food. You can't go to the bathroom. You can't. Okay, it kind of repeats. Sometimes it does that. Like I said, I did mention that in the pros and cons. It will go off the rails a little bit. But once again, going back to what I said, like when you have the ability to create an unlimited amount of content, it's not as big of a deal. Uh, let's see. So that one wasn't too bad going from here to here. Uh, and then it kept going more and more. The drawbacks are they are expensive. Now, there are many different types of movies. Some are this. Okay. Then it goes on with topics on the internet. It's not on your television. It's kind of skimming through. Now it's talking about software. So that one went off the rails a little bit. What you can do is actually take some of the drawbacks. It takes away from your family. Um, let's see. Third, you have to plan ahead. If you don't have fourth. Okay. So this one actually wasn't all that bad up to here. So I'm going to copy that. And then we can go like this, H2. And then what we can do is continuing on from there. What I've noticed is that it's really up to you how you want to utilize the, you know, when you highlight it, there's a lot of options you can use. It's good to match up like the headline towards something good. From what I figured out in the tutorial, even though it says introduction, a lot of times when you use this, it's going to say like in this article, you're going to learn, even though it'll have that aspect in it when you create it. I've noticed that it creates pretty good content overall. So how can you watch free movies online? I'm going to use the introduction section and see what we get. If you want to do something fun, you might consider watching movies. But if you want to save money, you might want to consider watching movies online. There are several websites that offers movies for free. Uh, let's see. There are a lot of ways to watch movies online. Movie stream is very popular. Okay. So with this, it answers the question. It doesn't give you, I guess you could just say, it says like go to websites, which isn't super descriptive. So that allows us to try out something new. There's also the ability that whenever you create something, if you highlight it and click on it, you can do expand, you can do rewrite, you can do improve. So we could expand upon that or we can improve. Let's click on expand and see what we get. So here we go. Uh, the best part is that they're free. And then it kind of created some uh, listicles for us. So this one put in the best part, they're in HD. I guess you could consider that a benefit. So let's write a little bit more. Aside from that, here are some benefits and websites for watching movies free online. Of course, you're going to have to do a little research. Like, I don't know if Google Play Movies has the free access or like popcorn flicks. I've never even heard of that before, but I know there are a lot of free streaming stuff. So, um, say so like you can watch them in HD. Actually, this would probably just be a big benefit. And then it says, here are some of the best sites where you can watch movies for free. Okay, so that would be one and then two. Okay, so that does work well. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's remove this. Also, you can watch them in HD. Uh, you can watch these movies in HD. So you get to enjoy your favorite movies without spending any money. Here are some of the best websites. Perfect. Okay. So that would go perfectly with that. I think you kind of get the idea going on. Let me do one more when it comes to like a listicle. Like I don't need to go through all these. What are the best uh, movie 
genres for, I'll do the whole family, similar to the other one down there. So let me get rid of that. And for this, let's try the listicle one. So this is like the best movie genres. Uh, let's see what it gives us. Click on listicle. Okay, look at this. It created a lot of content. So we talked about what are the best movie genres. Okay, it's talking about uh, watching movies with your family. It's kind of giving us an outline. You can watch movies on Netflix. You can watch them on free. Movies are an amazing way to relax. Watch for free. Uh, find the right for your family. Once again, let's see. Uh, you can watch movies in a variety of genres. I'm just really skimming through. Watch movies with your family. So that didn't give us exactly what we wanted, which is fine. There's plenty of other ways to do it. We can also highlight this. We can try a different one. Let's go with uh, bullets. Okay, so very similar. I wanted to skip to that. It was the same thing. What I'm going to do is this. Um, some of the best movie genres to watch with the entire family. I want to change this around so it's a little bit more targeted towards what I want. Sometimes you need to do that, I know, with at least uh, other AI generating tools. So I'm going to do that. And once again, I'm just going to go with the uh, listicle here and see what we get. All right, so there we go. Okay, so cool thing about AI is I'm always learning. So what I kind of figured out uh, with some other AI generating software tools is that if you're not getting the content you want, you usually have to look for like the main aspect of it. So I guess that's always a good tip from here on out for you and me is that if you're not getting the content you want, just change around the brief and that'll give you a probably a closer look at what you want to get. Because look at this. We have action, adventure, comedy, family, uh, horror, kids, mystery, romance, sci-fi, thriller. That is perfect. Here it just gave us a list. Very long list, kind of repetitive, very repetitive. Okay. And then once again, it goes back to what we're looking for. So that was perfect. I'm going to take the first one and let's do plus. And just like that, we have a lot of really good ones. Okay. And that's how you would pretty much go through it. I think you get the idea for how that would work. Let's move to the last one. Let's do this. We can do a conclusion. I'll do one more for you. Let's make this just normal. Uh, let's see, paragraph. Oops. Ooh, Silence of the Lambs. That's a good movie. <laughs> anyway, scrolling back up. Okay, so I'm just going to put this as the uh, brief, and then I'm going to highlight this, and let's do our outline, which, I mean, excuse me, not our outline, our conclusion. So in conclusion, the best hobbies are those that allow us to escape from daily routine, allow us to focus on something else for a while. So why don't you start watching movies? Uh, you know, watching movie. This one went off the rails. Okay. In conclusion, if you want to watch movies like a pro, we'll teach you everything you need. There's so many things you can do to improve your life uh, and so on and so forth. I think the first one was the best. So what I'm going to do is add that one. I can make that an H2. And just like that, we have a pretty good article. Has a good amount of words, if you ask me. Let's see, close that out. There you go. And even has like our H2s and so on and so forth. Uh, and not that bad. So overall, that was a very quick overview when it comes to the... Uh, the long form editor and creating blog posts. I hope that helped you out. Once again, this kind of this is everything I talked about in my review as well. I will leave a link down for the review that I did deeper into the description, along with the link for their lifetime access. At the time of creating this, they do have a uh, lifetime deal discount, so be sure to check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.